States. So we are, we are family, and mm. we keep in touch with each other. And if I if I put the Batman signal up, they be here, mm. you know. So we deep we deep we deep in the streets. I'm, I'm gonna call you next time I got some problems. Right, we'll like, be there. Cool, cool. Man. Just put that sign up there. We'll be right there. Just come on. Don't yeah, give me no yeah. false alarms though. No, no, no. You know, I, no this is gonna, gonna be real emergency. Yeah, be real shit. emergency. I ain't gonna say, hey, no, just scare them. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Now go ahead, go all in, baby. This is Peter Shue, and you watching This Is Fifty dot com. Come on, motherfuckers. Act like you know. <laughs>Yo, yo, Peter Shoe, man, what's up, man? Man, it's good to see you, man. I'm no, I, 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 we haphazardly seeing each other at Ricardo. It's one of my favorite restaurants in the whole wide world and whatnot, and you, you out there in the front. And when Buddy told me that that was you, I didn't believe it. Then I looked at you and I'm like, where is you? <laughs> Man, I've been trying to get up, get with you for the longest, you know, but we've been, you know, busy. We traveling and you doing your thing. So we, we, you know, it was just God bless us that we ran into each other yesterday. So, you know, I'm glad. That was great, crazy. Because this is the top show in New York and I wanted to be on. Man, I, I, come on, come on. I, I need to give you another dap on that one. But. So, hey, man, let, let's start from the beginning, man. Now, you one of the biggest party promoters in New York, set the bitch on fire. And what now? How do you get into the party promoting? Then we gonna talk about the the dark side of the party promoting. Well, you know, it, it came from the dark side because you know we was making so much money hustling, and you know, but when you say hustling, what are we hustling? Coke. Coke. All right. So we selling drugs. You know, I'm moving like a thousand keys a month. So what I'm doing is, you know, um, everybody's hustling. We making money, but you know, we're not in, enjoying ourselves the way they wanted to. They wasn't traveling like I was traveling. So my team was like. Let's do a birthday party for you, you know? Since your birthday was coming out, I was like, I don't know if I really want to do that. But they talked me into, you know, so we had the f first birthday party in, um, at the Omni Hotel. We had Keith Sweater in touch perform. In fact, I just talked to Free yesterday from in touch. So they performed that night for us, and um, the party was, you know, it was a black tie affair, so it was such a success. Everybody kept wanting me to do a party. Now everybody go, Petey, throw another party, throw another party. I go to the basketball games, throw another party, throw another party. It takes a lot of your time and effort to do all this stuff. So I said, all right, you know, and I'm a drug dealer. Mm. So I said, okay, let me let me um, put a team together so we start throwing parties once a month and stuff like that. So we start doing that and everybody was coming, all the celebrities. We, you know, Mary J. Blige performed her first hit, You Remind Me at My Party, SWV. All these, all, all these groups was coming to hang out. Charles Oakley, that's my main man. You know, from the Knicks, we used to hang out. Mike Tyson, I just spoke to um, Uwe and Mike the other day. Rodney Hampton from the Giants when they won the Super Bowls. Mm -hmm. um, Pepper Johnson, they all cool with me. Um, Lawrence Taylor, you know, all of them used to come to the parties at Mark Breland. So, you know, we used to have a, you know, a good, a good you know, presence and nobody got hurt. I mean, the security was tight and um, everybody had a good time. So, I mean, they loved those parties. And to this day, when I came, I come right out the door, people, crying to me about doing another party. I was like, damn, I'm just coming home. You know, I just did 21 years. I gotta, you know, get myself, you know, back in this, you know, swing there. Because I feel like when I first came home, it felt like I was from Mars. You know, everything's different, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, you know, so that's where the party thing came up. But, you know, it was something we was just doing for rec, you know, and uh, bringing girls to us, but it ended up blowing up so big, you know, to this day, people say nobody ever threw a party like me, so. Like Puff just had an album. Mm -hmm. hey, one of the songs on that old man, Jada Kiss on there rapping about the Peter Shoe parties. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With Madonna in attendance. With Madonna in attendance, yeah. That yeah. shit is crazy, man. Yeah, you, you know. Fucking like, legend, you know, though. We had, it, we had everybody coming to them things, and you know, you know, it was like, I think, I want to thank um, Puffy and Jada Kiss for giving me that shout out on the record, and um, Styles P was on there too, so for all of them, I'd like to thank them and God bless them on that, and I'm proud of their success. And I was with Jada Kiss, Nines, Rock Kim. Floyd Mayweather, I want to give them all shout outs. And um, Stevie J at the CIAA, we was all down there together. We all had a good time. And, you know, not, especially Nas and JD, because they showed me a lot of love. And JD Kiss was trying to pull me on the stage and stuff. I, you know, but uh, it's, 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 it's um, you know, it's, 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 it's wonderful that they remember me and remember that, that, you know, all the things I did and, you know, how a lot of people copy my style. And even when we was at the Rucker Games and, and, and in the beach chairs, you know, taking no, uh, uh, um, in, in the, the beach, beach chair, yeah, above, above the rim, copy that. That was us in the beach chairs with the big phones, you know, remember them days? So yeah. they copied that style. And then um, I had a dope called Taking No Prisoners. And I, I also had a, a, a team called Taking No Prisoners in the Ruckus. And then I watched Lean On Me one day. And um, 
the lean on me had to, when they was having them, them big tests they had to take, they said take, they had to sign taking them prisons up there. So I like to feel that they got them names from us and you know, it's just a tribute to us and, and I'm happy about that. You know, I mean, I, it is some good in, in, in the evil I did, you know, so the dark side, but I'm just happy to still be alive and God bless me and bring me home. Just, be around my family and a lot of my peers. You, know? you, you ever say, you saved some rappers' lives? Um, nigga, you said Keith Sweat? They you saved Keith Sweat? Sweat yeah, Keith Sweat. I'll pour one of them do something to Keith Sweat. For what? What Keith do? Over a girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keith, Keith was still a girl in a minute with that goddamn singing shit. Yeah. I'm going to make him tell me that story. He supposed to be here in like a week or so. He's, he's, he's performing April 29th. April 20th, that, that show now, uh, BB King. Well, he might not want to talk about that story, but he, he maybe off the record. Right. But, you know, he had a problem with Alpo one day, and my man called me and told me I went and stepped to Alpo. Mm. You know what I'm saying, yo. But, you know, the whole thing is. Because he get a pass for that now, because he's an R&B singer. We don't expect R&B singers to be thugs, too. But, you know, you get, you know, you get you mess with guys, girls, and a lot of these dudes don't appreciate that there's something that happened. Me, I yeah. didn't care. You know, you take. You get you you get a girl for me. You're a bad man. I mean, mm -hmm. you spending more money than me. But how you knew he was in danger? Um, somebody told us. Somebody said, "Hey, man, them niggas about to go kill Keith. Yeah, you told need to goddamn." Would well, you just want to go tell Apple like, "Hey, look, man, not tonight. That's my uh, man." They know. They know. They if they do something to somebody that we 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 anybody do something to anybody that I care about, you know, it's 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 gonna be repercussions, and mm. that's just how it is because you know I I I love my people, so mm. if. It's a lot of stories I could tell you, but I can't tell you. I right. choose stories, but you know, I mean, if somebody something happened to any of my friends, I I come out be time out. Even now, you know, I'm in retirement. But if they did something to one of my close friends, or you know, like Kyle, one of them, then I have no choice but to come out of retirement. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm really trying to lay back. Like you know, when I first got home, I went up on um, Seventh Avenue, and um, even the young dudes know where I am because they was like. Yo, ain't that that kid, Peter Shoe, Peter Shoe? And, and this was like my first two weeks home. So somebody told him, yeah, that's that's him, that's him. You wanna meet him? He said, nah, we out of here. He must be up here to do something to somebody. So right. so they broke the whole block cleared out. And this is a drunk block. I said, yo, I'm out of here. I said, I, I ain't doing nothing crazy. I'm going home. That's amazing. Your name ring bells, goddamn 24 years yeah, later. Yeah, but the young brothers, you know, they look up to me and, and, and I love them young brothers, you know, because they very, you know, I see myself and them at their age, and I just be trying to tell them, be careful, man. And then, man, let's talk about, um, you know, the, the whole Madonna thing. Whenever people uh, mention Peter Shooter, they always talk, to, they always talk about Madonna. Well, you know, the, the how you meet her? 